How's it going guys? I hope you're all doing well out there today wherever you are in the world and in this video we are going to take a look at the Boss EV1WL which is an expression pedal that features some really cool stuff. It's actually wireless and can connect via Bluetooth to your computer or your tablet. It can also connect to your Boss uh, devices wirelessly as well as some other connections. You may notice a bit of a change of surroundings. For me, this product uh, is fairly involved as far as multiple screens and cameras. So I'm at my buddy Joe Green's house and he's helping me film this video. Say hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. <laughs> um, so if you're a guitarist, I'm sure you've uh, experienced expression pedals and the main uses we guitarists use is for wah pedal. If you've heard anything that Slash or Kirk Hammett has ever done, you've heard a wah pedal volume pedal for swells and all that stuff or the classic Tom Morello whammy that's all expression pedal based now a lot of people are relying more and more on computer based plugins for playing at home and even live and the only issue that crops up is control obviously you can use hardware MIDI controllers but I think the hands-on or foot-on uh, vibe of an expression pedal is something that can't be easily recreated this allows you to connect up to those things and have that interactive control with these plugins. Now, although this can be connected wirelessly, it does also, if I come in here on this camera, um, it also has a USB over this side. <laughs> it has a USB that can be connected to a computer hardwired. It also has a MIDI output, so a hardware MIDI output to use on your normal pedal board. Um, you've got this Bluetooth button at the end here, so that connects up wirelessly. So at the moment it's flashing blue. It does look a little bit white in the camera, but it is blue. When it's got a, a steady flash like that, it's got no connection. To connect up, you just press it. It begins to blink fast, and then it's able to be connected, and then it will go solid blue when it's connected. If you press it twice, it then changes to white, and that can connect you to Boss-only products. Uh, I think there was a headphones and... Uh, the Katana Air, there, there probably is others, but today I'm just gonna focus on the Bluetooth connectivity. Along with this expression pedal, there's an app and it lets you really in-depth tweak everything to do with this expression pedal. Uh, you can change the sensitivity of the toe switch. Uh, you can change the MIDI CC numbers. So as this has got a toe switch, uh, you've got one MIDI CC number for unengaged, another one for it being engaged. You can change all of those numbers to correspond with your correct gear. You've got a foot switch input here, so you can use a boss foot switch, and it gives you two further switches that can be latched or unlatched. You can control all of that in the app. Um, you've then got individual MIDI uh, CC numbers and control for your Bluetooth, your MIDI output, and your USB as well. And the thing that we're most excited about here is you can change the color of the LEDs as well. So it can be all pretty while you're making good sounds. To connect up the EV1WL to your Mac via Bluetooth to control Logic or any of the other programs on your Mac, you need to find the audio MIDI menu. So on this Mac, we've gone to applications and then utilities, and the audio MIDI setup is there with the keyboard icon. If you call that up and then go up to the window tab at the top of the screen, and then open up the MIDI studio. You then need to go to the small Bluetooth menu there and you'll see on the floor at the moment the EV1 is flashing slowly. To get it to connect you need to make it go quick so one press on there gets the light flashing quickly and then it will show up on your Mac there. Once it's connected you'll be able to utilize it in Logic or any of your other programs. To connect up your EV1WL to a mobile device, in this case we're using an iPad but it's also available on Android, you need to download the EV1WL app from the App Store. When you open it it will look something like this and there's a button that says Bluetooth MIDI device. Click that and put your EV1WL into pairing mode so the light will flash quickly, it will appear on the screen and you just need to tap it to connect. Click pair and you're ready to go then you can have access to the EV1WL editing features in their uh, proprietary app, so Bluetooth, USB, or the hardwire MIDI out, as well as some other functions in there as well. This will also, now it's paired with your mobile device, let you use uh, things like the plug-in synthesizers and other things that you can get for your iPad or other devices and control it using the EV1WL and associated foot switches. 
So we now have a file open in Logic and we're going to show off some sounds. We've already dialed some stuff in, but we're going to show you exactly how to assign the uh, Boss Expression pedal and uh, associated switch with anything on Logic. Although we're going to show off some very guitar centric uses, Logic has a really extensive way of MIDI mapping and you can basically assign uh, the EV1 to anything on Logic that you desire if you want to get crazy with it. Um, the most common use for guitarists is of course like wah and volume so we're going to start with that. So if Joe could just bring up the pedal board we've got sorted. Uh, you see on the left we've got a wah pedal and on the right even though it says wah it is assigned to be a volume. Now what you can do if you don't have uh, anything connected to control is simply grab your mouse and you can move the treadle um, like Joe's doing on the screen there and to assign it all you need to do is make that movement and then press command L for learn then move the expression pedal and then press command L again to finish learning and then what we've discovered is it's very important to label uh, your assignments as you go so you know what you've assigned to what and if there's any cross communication there so we've set that up as volume position now the next thing we want to do, if you can see their volume's all good, uh, is we want to assign the toe switch to turn on the wah pedal. So the same process applies, just click on the button, then press command L to commence learning and you need to give it an on and an off value. So on, off and then finish learning by command L again and then the expression pedal now that the switch underneath it will do that. Now to get the treadle to respond to the wah as well, uh, as we showed off in the app, the EV1 has different CC numbers for engaged and disengaged on the toe switch. So if I engage it now, we have a different CC number to what we had when it was off. So this will now be the wah. So same process again, just move the thing on the screen, press command L for learn, move the expression pedal, and then press uh, command L again to uh, end the learning. So as you can see, that's responding to the wah. Joe's just gonna name it and then we've got our full uh, expression pedal experience. So when it's off, we've got a volume pedal. And then we can engage it and that, uh, because it's a new CC number, that's now controlling the wah. And this kind of thing is really handy because I've been in a position before where I've done a session and I needed a wah on it and I had to individually map the wah after playing and it's just not the same experience at all so something like this comes in super handy and gives you a much more uh, physical interaction with plugins as opposed to pedals so the next pedal board we've set up has got a whammy pedal on it another really famous use for an expression pedal for us guitarists and I've, we set it up exactly the same way we did the wah so the toe switch engages the whammy and then the expression pedal controls the pitch so you've got a sound and then we've got a memory man style echo on this pedal board as well which i want to assign to the external foot switch that's connected to the ev1 so i want to put it on foot switch b so we check the bypass with the mouse press command l and then give it an on value and an off value finish the learning with command l again and then i've got control of the tape delay. Every man style echo, not a tape delay. Um, and then um, just to prove that you can do other things other than things that are obvious like the wah and the expression pedal type stuff, you can actually control any of the knobs on that delay with the expression pedal. So I wanna control the time. So we do exactly the same thing again, grab the knob, command L, and then command L to finish, and then we've got control of the time. Uh, and what I want to do is, uh, just for Mark at Boss, because I know he loves this, we're going to turn the feedback all the way up, engage the delay, and then we've got control of the time. So we can do spaceship noises. So we've now called up a rotary speaker simulator and obviously this is put to good use for guitar, but um, being able to control it in real time might also be really handy for any keyboard or organ players that wanna get that kind of sound and have uh, hands-on, or in this case, foot-on control of the rotary speed. So as you can see, I've set the expression to control the rate 
and I've got the B foot switch to engage, so it sounds like this. <laughs> very cool and I've done the assignments in exactly the same way as the other things however I think the the speed window we've got there is far too vast and I want it to not use the whole sweep of the knob so to do that you just bring up the uh, the learn menu that we had the um, controller assignments and down at the bottom where value is set uh, we've got 0 to 127 which is the the MIDI control so if you want to limit how far that knob goes you just pick different values to estimate where it is on the knob. So we're gonna go from about 20 to 100. So we get that sort of middle section of the sweep. And now, as you'll see, it doesn't do the full range of the control. It's much more usable. <laughs> Again, that would be super useful for anything you, you're deciding to control. If you don't want the full range of that particular control, you can just limit exactly which area it's controlling. We've mainly been focusing on the pedal board in Logic because it makes the most sense to us guitarists and figuring out how this Bluetooth expression pedal could really make your life easier using plugins. However, Logic will let you control virtually anything in the program. So we're gonna control a fader level with the expression. I've got this PRS-P22 here, which actually has a built-in piezo pickup. So I've got the magnetic pickups coming in on one channel. <laughs> And then I've got the piezo pickup coming in on a different channel. And that's got some effects and stuff on it. And there's also a blend mode between the two. And what I wanna do now is control the level of the piezo from the expression pedal to be able to blend it in and out. So we do it in the same way as we did with the pedal board. Just grab the fader and then click uh, Command L to learn use the expression pedal, command L again to finish, and we've got full control of the level. However, we don't want it to go all the way up, so we can modify the upper value from 127 down to something a little more reasonable. What are we gonna say, Joe? About 95, and that takes us up to about matching the magnetic. So, if I've got the blend mode in and all the controls up, we've got magnetic. <laughs> and then I can control the level of the mag magnetic pickup just from the guitar. So it might not be the most practical use ever, but it just shows you how well this uh, setup can interface with Logic. Although we've been using a lot of Logic's native plugins and also the actual control of Logic, you can control any third party uh, plugins as well. So I know a lot of you are hip to the neural DSP stuff. We've got the Archetype Petrucci loaded up and they've got a really mean sounding wah wah pedal uh, built into the plugin. So if we go to the effects menu within uh, the plugin, brings up the wah, and we want to assign in exactly the same way that we did with the other stuff. So we'll do the toe switch first. Uh, if you click it on the program and then do the learn function, I'll then give it an on value and an off value. Finish learning, and that should now match the program. And then we'll do the treadle as well. Let me make sure it's on for the on value. And then um, learn, wiggle, wiggle, learn again. And then we've got control of the wire. So this is without the wire. Oh no, the wire is on, wire off. And then you can do the same thing with any of the other pedals and other stuff you've got kicking around within the neural plugins. We've connected the EV1WL up to an iPad which is running Sunriser, a synthesizer, and we're gonna use the expression pedal to control one of the uh, hardware style knobs on the synth interface. There's a button at the top of the screen called Learn. If you click that, it'll bring up the controls. You select one of the knobs on the interface and then roll your expression pedal and you see there it's now mapped to channel number 69 
and then you can play the synth and use uh, your expression to control that knob. <laughs> While we were messing around with the iPad, uh, finding out what you could do with the expression pedal, we found out that it's also really useful for programs that accept MIDI CC but perhaps don't output sound. So Joe uses Band Helper for his gigs for set lists and charts and things. You can actually program the foot switches to scroll up and down songs and you can even use the expression pedal for certain features. Even though it's not that practical, it does show that there's a lot of uses out there for it. So that was a look at the Boss EV1WL expression pedal. I think it solves a big problem when it comes to using plugins as a guitarist. However, I think it would work for anyone, any instrument that uses plugins or any kind of production thing. It's a really, really useful tool. Um, if you enjoyed this video or any of my other stuff, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I have to say a massive thank you for Mr. Joe Green to help me for helping me get this video together. Uh, and I hope to see you in another video soon. Whatever you're doing with the rest of your day, I hope it's awesome. I'll see you soon. Cheers. Mm -hmm.